Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon Max Raid event update video. So last night we got some updates, they were late in announcing them but they seem to come through and we've got an update to, like I said, the event raid dens that are going on for the remainder of March. So what we're going to do is we are going to first go over to one of our dens but while I do this I'm going to just talk you through some of the changes so we had the events running um, that I updated in a video just recently with these events featuring the Munchlax Ghastly matchup, uh, Snorlax Haunter matchup, and then the Gigantamax Pokemon which is the Gigantamax Snorlax, the Gengar and the Machamp as well so they were the event GMAX Pokemon that are running at the minute as well as their non GMAX forms and these are event ex you know version exclusive Pokemon in Sword you get the Gigantamax Machamp and in Shield you get the Gigantamax Gengar but they're amalgamated together so it doesn't matter which version you've got you can now access these GMAX Pokemon which is amazing but last night they went one step further and just to remind you guys the links to Cerebi where we're getting all this information from will be down in the description below and as always a big shout out to them a great resource to utilize um but like I say the dens have now been updated and they're further extending the Pokemon that are version exclusive into the other other titles so sword players get excited shield players get excited you're now going to be able to access the pokemon that you once weren't able to access because they were version exclusive now for a, a limited period of time as always with these event dens there are for a limited period of time you will now have access to these pokemon and some other really nice features as well so these events will be running from the 19th of march which is today uh, until the 26th of march so you've got a little bit of time to get these pokemon and fill up your pokedex if you haven't done already and catch these pokemon that you wouldn't really be able to obtain otherwise so as you can see we'll just go down the list as always the new pokemon introduced are going to be carablast and then the shelmet you've got corsola ghastly pinchurchin matchup and this is for pokemon sword we'll cover pokemon shield in a moment and these are all one one star raid so if you're very early on in your game you'll be able to access those uh going down to two star again if you're early on in your your game you'll be able to access these you've got the ponytail the snorlax corsola haunter pinchurchin and the machok and moving on to the three star raids you've got ponytail again the gigantamax snorlax making an appearance at the three star raids the corsola the gengar the pinchurchin and the machamp and then coming down to four star and five star we've got the acelgo now the snorlax gigantamax the scavalier Gengar, Pinchurchin, and the Machamp, and then the other Pokemon that are there, which are the other um, version exclusive Pokemon we can now access in Sword, Orangaroo, in Didi, G Max Snorlax once again, Mandibuzz as well, that's another one that is version exclusive, as well as that Rapidash there. And the other thing to note, along with these version exclusives for Sword, is the bonus. The items that are going to be given out with these Pokemon when you defeat them or you catch them are going to be the the fossil items that you need to resurrect the fossil Pokemon and you will always get, depending on your version, you'll get the rarer versions that are kind of more exclusive in the opposite version to yours. So in Sword, you'll be able to get the fossilized Drake and what's the other one? What's the other one? Let's have a look. Okay, the fossilized fish and the fossilized drake um, are the two that you'll get in sword and then in shield, you'll get the fossilized dino and the fossilized fish. So, makes it really easy to get these. You're not going to have to go after the digging brothers anymore and just cycle that and waste a lot of what to do it. You can just cycle these, get Pokemon that you maybe haven't got already and get these really cool items to get the fossil Pokemon, which are super powerful Pokemon in the competitive scene. As well as that, you're going to be getting the, the kind of standard items, nothing um, to really write home about. Um, there's just the standard stuff, berries, uh, XL candies, um, Dynamax candies and, and those things. Moving on to the shield exclusives. Now, players who have 
the copy of Shield can get the Carablast Shelmet. Darumaka is now going to be available to you guys. Uh, Ghastly Pinchurchin matchup, they're the one star. The two star is going to be far fetched. You're going to be able to get Snorlax, Darumaka, Haunter, Pinchurchin, Machoke. Moving on to the three star raids, which is probably the majority of you who have actually finished the game and access to the higher level raids. You're going to have Sir Fetched. Then now, which was only exclusive to Sword, you're going to have access to that. Then the Snorlax, the Daramaka, again, the G-Max Gengar Pinchurchin and the G-Max Machamp. So they're not changing. The G-Max Pokemon are sticking around, which is good. Then the Selgor, the Snorlax, Escavalier, Gengar, Pinchurchin and the Machamp in your four star. And then on to the five star raids, which is really exciting for you shield players. You're going to be actually able to access pa Persimian now, um, Mail and Didi. G-Max and Olax, Bravery, the Surfetched, and the G-Max Gengar again. And again, you're going to have access to these fossil fossil items. But like I say, you're going to have access to the, the fossilized dino and then the fossilized fish, I'm pretty sure. No, fossilized bird, sorry. So the fossilized fish is the one in, in sword. So excuse me about that. Okay, well... As always, that is the update. So they're running from now until the 26th of March. So you want to make sure that you are taking advantage of those and getting them while you can. And like I say, it's a really good opportunity for you guys to um, actually just get a bunch of the fossil items because it's it is really difficult and it is a, a bit a bit of a grind to get the ones that aren't exclusive to your version. Uh, they are the rarer items, so the grind is sometimes a little bit annoying and the amount of water you have to spend to actually get a bunch of them especially if you're going for those shiny pokemon uh the shiny fossils you're going to need a bunch of those fossil items so it's it's a good time to actually get them and uh, excuse me because at the moment i am uh, actually trying to get myself a shiny dusclops even though that's an that's a, a little old Prevolution of Aegis Lash that I was doing for uh, some competitive content that we've got on the channel at the minute. So hopefully my other eggs don't pop. I've actually been pre-prepared and we've already got a den set up. It is an event den. So you can see here and all you need to do to activate the new Pokemon in the dens is obviously update your game. There was an update earlier in the week 1.1.1 uh, that gets rid of a number of things. But the, the main thing is now you can surprise trade again. There was a big issue around surprise trades and getting hacked Pokemon that crash your game. So that's resolved now. If you've had problems with that, you can go back onto surprise trades, do them now. Um, but what you're going to need to do after you've done the update, as you can see, this is a den here. This is an event den we've already got activated. Um, is you will just need to go on to your, you will just need to go online. Uh, you can just go online like this, uh, or you can go through the other method of going to your menu screen and going to um, the wild event news from your menu menu which is just into the mystery gift option and get wild area news and that will do the same thing and it will update and it will now populate the dens with the new event that are running so as you can see what we're going to do is just cycle through see if we can get one of these different event pokemon um i should have really taken myself offline to do this but just for the sake of the video and the speed things up we'll just skip a day and hopefully this next one will be one of the new pokemon that has been pumped into the game and into the den so let's see what we've got for this next one machamp again okay okay well what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually come offline to do this because there's nothing worse is there there's nothing worse than thinking you're going to be going into a den with someone. They've got a G-Max Machamp, one of the coolest G-Max Pokemon. And then for someone like me doing an example like this, taking it away and um, not making it possible. So we'll just take ourselves out of uh, the the online phase and um, we'll see if we can get one of these new, these new event Pokemon because... I don't know which one I'm kind of looking forward to getting most. Maybe Mandibuzz. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping really that uh, we everyone would have access to everything because then it makes it a lot easier. Like Surfetched is a really, it's a difficult Pokemon to get in Sword with its hidden ability. So it's like, ah, oh, 
When I first saw it, I thought, this is going to be great. I can get a shiny, hidden ability, surf etched a lot easier. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through the old route. But there we go. We've got the Mandibuzz now. As you can see, here it is. Uh, we'll switch Pokemon and we'll just jump straight into it. I'll not catch it, but we'll uh, finish off the video. Uh, with the Mandibuzz battle and um, we'll we'll just get a glimpse of it before we close up. What do we want? Good old Dracozolt there, already hyper trained, ready to go. We'll not invite anyone into this one, but just for the example's sake, we'll see the Mandibuzz in all of its glory, something that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise because I play Sword. Now I've got access to it, now I've got access to farming the fossil items as well, so it's a really nice update. Hopefully we get something else maybe before the end of March, but if not, we know to expect something on the 26th, 27th of March, and as always, I'll make sure to do an update as soon as there is any news on that. So, my friends, have fun getting these these version exclusive pokemon while you've got the chance to make sure that you do take this opportunity to farm those fossil items i'm gonna keep repeating this because they're so difficult to get otherwise they're just a pain to get um so make sure you do take advantage and uh, jump in hosted raids do your own and uh, just share the love and uh, take care of yourselves i'm gonna end things here i think that's everything i wanted to cover today hope you are all keeping well make sure that you are taking care of yourselves especially with what's going on at the minute and i will see you all very soon for another update video and uh, more pokemon content soon so do drop a like if you've enjoyed the content do subscribe to the channel for more of this sort of thing and uh, i'll see you all very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye